What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So we got some updates from a lawyer out of Baltimore who is uh, familiar with the situation and cases like this, that undefeated three-division world champion who simultaneously held the WBA super title at super featherweight, the WBA regular title at lightweight and Julian welterweight, that being none other than superstar boxer Javante Tank Davis, who has 28 wins, excuse me, 29 wins, no loss, no draw, 27 big wins by way of knockout. He is 28 years of age, five foot five with a 67 inch arm reach and coming off with the biggest victory of his absolute career, the most lucrative fight of his absolute career. And that being his April 22nd Las Vegas Nevada T-Mobile Arena showdown with lightweight junior welterweight Mexican superstar title contender King Ryan Ryan Garcia, who is now 23 wins, one loss, no draws, 19 wins by way of knockout, 24 years of age, 5 foot 10 with a 70 inch arm reach. With that said, Javante Tank Davis has had a case now uh, that he's been facing from 2020 uh, where Javante Tank Davis, after his fight with uh, Leo Santa Cruz, he went back home to his hometown of Baltimore, Maryland, and celebrating. And when leaving Javante Tank Davis, he was in an accident to which he was uh, the driver of a Lamborghini, allegedly, uh, that hit another um, pedestrian. And, um, you know, uh, he fleed the scene. He allegedly he fled the scene. OK, uh, I'm saying allegedly because I wasn't there and I don't know. That's what the reports are saying. Uh, so it's saying that he fled the scene and one of the victims in the car was a pregnant woman who stated that she pleaded for Javante Tank Davis's help. Uh, she looked him in the eyes and he still fled the scene. Now, uh, some people look at him as a monster because of those reports. That's people that don't like him already to begin with, uh, not to, you know, defend him or, you know, uh, be callous to uh, the other people involved situation. OK, I'm not being dismissive of their situation uh, and I'm not being, you know, um, callous to their situation. But what that said you know, obviously people are going to jump on Javante Tank Davis, you know, uh, and it sounds horrible. But when panic sets in, right, we don't know what took place when panic sets in in these types of situations. You don't know how you're going to react. If everybody can tell you that they would be the model citizen and they would stood there and they would help the people out the car, you know, uh, so on and so forth. Right. Um, but with that said, nobody actually knows um, what's going to take place. So with that said, you know, um, Javante Tank Davis has reportedly, you know, left the scene of the crime. OK. Uh, and, you know, Javante Tank Davis, uh, initially his team was going to have a plea deal. Right. Where he was going to face no time, no jail time. But that the judge has decided that they are going to um, uh, decide to take that off the table. That's not an option. And that he is going to indeed face jail time. So he's going to have to do jail time. And so um, this the, the pregnant victim involved in this situation, in this case, uh, decided that they were going to push forward. You know, uh, it was reported that it was four people allegedly in the car and that uh, three of the four uh, wasn't interested in pushing forward. They was just interested in settling. And this uh, particular uh, victim, which was the pregnant woman, uh, is pushing forward and wants to see Javante Tank Davis pay the price. So with that said. Um, it's expected tomorrow, uh, Cinco de Mayo, Javante Tank Davis is going to be sentenced. And so this lawyer close to the, this situations out of Baltimore, Maryland, f familiar with the uh, system in Baltimore, Maryland, and familiar with cases like this, has stated that uh, they expect Javante Tank Davis to get 90 days, okay, and five months probation and have to serve uh, community service and pay fines, okay? So I'm sure the victim eventually is going to sue him as well. Uh, and so he's going to have to pay the victim as well. So he's gonna have to pay fines, he's gonna do community service. And uh, uh, you know, according to this lawyer close to, the, to this uh, system in Baltimore, stated that they expect Javante Tank Davis to get a 90 day sentence. There's people that saying Javante Tank Davis could get years, five years and or, or, you know, two and three years and things of that nature. But uh, this gentleman, 
uh, and it's a lady involved as well. It's a gentleman with a lady. Um, I'm sure they're going to do a video on it later on this, this evening or tomorrow. Uh, and uh, they're stating that, you know, they expect Javante Tank Davis to get 90 days, okay? Uh, and, and to get a fine, obviously, uh, you know, he's had this massive lucrative fight that is uh, well publicized. So uh, money, he's going to have to pay a hefty fine because they know he has it. And everybody bolts and brags about how much Javante Tank Davis is making, uh, how much he garners, you know, and how much attention uh, and, and how many jobs he, he gets. So he gets people when he fights in these particular communities. So and, and city. So Javante Tank Davis, you know, uh, is going to face, you know, um, some time because it seems like the judge is, uh, you know, um, more than willing to make sure that is the case uh, and being very, very in tune with the victims uh, cries for um, and pleas for help. You know, it uh, looks like Javante Tank Davis is going to be doing a little bit of time. So with that said, it looks like his sentence is going to start in June, according to uh, this um, this uh, lawyer. You know that's close to the situation this legal situation down in baltimore and, and cases like this stated that they expect him to have to start his uh sentence uh late may uh early june uh he have to uh, start his sentence um he might be detained tomorrow um but it's more highly it's more likely that he'll be you know us uh, uh, um have to turn himself in to do his time in uh, later on in May or early June, and that you know uh, he gonna save serve 30, 30, 90 days, which means he's gonna miss the summer. Uh, and now there's talks that he can come back, uh, and he'll rematch. I see Pitbull Cruz, uh, whom he fought in the past, and he beat unanimous decision, entertaining fight because Isaac Cruz was aggressive. Uh, but I thought that Javante Tank Davis clearly won the fight against I.C. Pitbull Cruz. Uh, and obviously, there's many people that want to see Javante Tank Davis face off against, you know, the likes of undefeated, undisputed, uh, lightweight world champion, superstar boxer Devin the Dream Haney and or Vasil Lomachenko and or Shakur Stevenson. Right. Um, but with that said, you know, um, you know, uh, Javante Tank Davis. You know, it's unfortunate situation, I'm sure. His maturity, I'm sure he'll grow from this. He'll learn from this. You know, uh, nobody's perfect. Things happen. And I'm sure, you know, um, that Javante Tank Davis will get, you know, uh, uh, get a learning lesson from this, right? Uh, so uh, one of the victims, you know, says that, you know, they're still suffering from the injuries uh, from this, from this uh, um, incident that took place. So, you know, obviously there's a lot you know that comes along with this you know um there's a lot of unknown you know everybody can speculate but it all comes down to the judge and what the judge decides to rule right so again you know it said that javante tank davis could get 90 days in prison uh in jail or, or whatever you may have you and uh come out and he missed this he's gonna miss the summer then face i see pitbull cruz again he fought isaac cruz December of 2021. So this case took place after he fought Leo Santa Cruz, October of 2020. Okay, so he beat uh, I C Pitbull Cruz via unanimous decision December of 2021, and it's looking like he he's gonna uh, rematch Isaac Cruz possibly, possibly. Okay, that's not set in stone as well, but it's looking like he could rematch Isaac Cruz, who is now 24 wins, two losses, one draw, 17 wins by way of knockout, 24 years of age five foot three with a 63 inch army so uh hopefully everything works out for javante tank davis in this case hopefully everything works out for um you know the victims involved in this in this situation and uh everybody you know learns from this and everybody grows and everybody's healthy and uh you know um and uh well wishes you know that's the best you can say for a situation like this is just it's simply unfortunate that uh this takes place that's it just boils down to that it's just unfortunate right that um you know uh that uh, uh you involved in situations but you live and you learn you know again i know people say he should you know he's a monster for leaving the scene but uh panic sets in right he don't know you know panic sets in 
you know, uh, uh, you know, you you don't know the outcome, and and sometimes it's is 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 fight or flight. And I know he's a fighter inside the square circle, but when you face with real life situation, not that boxing is not real life situation, but it's a more of a control atmosphere. When you face with situation like this, and it looks like it could be possibly be life or or or, or transition, fight or, fight or flight sets in, and he and his mind said flight. Right, allegedly. So I wasn't there. So let's see how it unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All in one word. That's all I got for y'all, man. Let me know what y'all think. Do you think Javante Tank Davis is going to get years, months? Or what do you think is going to take place?